So, DC area weather. It's been a roller coaster of barometric ups and downs. Winter, spring, winter, spring, winter, spring, winter, spring. So with that being said, it's also creating an energetic magnetic uh, influence on our individual avatars as well as collective avatars. And so yesterday, Saturday, the 25th of February, I was just in a fog like it was outside. It was just so cloudy and doomy gloomy and I don't get seasonal depression or anything like that. So I found myself exhausted, but I also found myself having the luxury of having time alone in the home and things that didn't need my immediate attention. So I have a moist heating pad that uh, I became one with for numerous hours, found myself mouth snoring, having all kinds of dreams, just allowing the energetics to calibrate within my body uh, while I was having quiet time. I wasn't forcing my way um, upstream with the energetic changes. So then I found myself out to dinner with some friends and just feeling so amazingly together because I allowed myself that time. And then I didn't come home with the fear that I wouldn't be able to sleep. And so I was able to crawl into bed at a decent hour. I had to get up once or twice and that's not unusual for me to get up and try to snap, crackle, pop or stretch or breathe. But then I went out and I slept pretty good. And then I had the luxury of being able to roll around and loiter in my covers and in my bed because I didn't have to have an alarm. And now it's all sunny and beautiful, but what are the energies when I woke up? They were that fluttering on top of the roller coaster, ready to go down anxiety type feeling that just makes me want to get up and like move and, and just like, whoo, whoo. And so instead of looking at that as fear, I've had enough experience with these types of energies to know to breathe through them and to allow myself through my breath to now expand my awareness of what's in front of me, around me, and surrounding me, tap into the peripheral energy. It also allowed me then to go to a park, take off my shoes, plant my feet on the grass, and be in that. And then, since then, I've had a few people message me to say that they're pretty much going through the exact same thing. And these are people that I would equate to being on the same um, learning level of experiences that I have been on and am on. So just being able to tap into each other and knowing that, oh, okay, um, that caliber of energetics of a person on the same wavelength as me is experiencing the same thing. So it just sort of helps you know you're not alone. However, it is our responsibility to maneuver and maneuver well through the ups, downs of the stream that's being presented in energetics. And um, just know that we're experiencing these things because we're just going through changes. And then changes are gonna occur with or without you in agreeance or in resistance. So why not calibrate yourself fine tune your golden energy and learn how to just be in this um, in this being able to maneuver with your oars through the energy instead of bracing yourself for things and because because that's going to really wreak havoc on your your nervous system and your circuit boards um, because you're bracing yourself um, for incoming and uh, incoming's coming in regardless but you'll have a graceful tendency to maneuver through it if you can allow yourself to 
breathe with it and do things that help you find hydrating foods to get out into nature take epsom salt baths talk with friends um and just get yourself off that ledge of energetic needing to like resist or being tossed the fear of being tossed over so spirit said get on here and just tell people what's happening and i just finished going to a home depot where i felt like i was in a sitcom of saturday night live uh or on the set of dumb and dumber and all the relatives came in because nobody could help me find a bolt that i needed it was insane but instead i just stayed there patiently waited and then finally some other shopping pedestrian helped me out <laughs> It was also walking up and down the aisles. So things will work out. They will work out. Just know that you're in the throes of it. And so how do you protect yourself through it all? And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you need some techniques for maneuvering with more grace and ease, you know, embodimentofthesoul.com, make a session with me. We can go through it together and calm the nervous systems together and allow ourselves to communicate um, on a higher vibrational level. All right? Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next video.